Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra, my pronouns are they, them, and welcome to Toad Frog Tarot. This is today's message from the dead who have come forward to work with me using these cards. Let's see what they have to say. What is a message for the people who will see this message on the internet? All right, so I zoomed out a bit, but I can't zoom out too far, otherwise you'll see like everything else on my desk. So I realize you can't really see the top of this and you can't really see the bottom of this, but that's okay. That's part of why I read the words out loud for you. So I see this and I see this. We will see if there's any crossover, but right now it's just columns. We'll start here. Do not resist the impermanence of life. Every moment must pass on. Do not resist the impermanence of life. Every moment must pass on. That sounds a lot like don't resist change. <laughs> change is unavoidable, right? Take time to come home to yourself. You are the one you've been waiting for. Take time to come home to yourself. You are the one you've been waiting for. And that sounds a lot like self-care and also no one can save you but yourself, which is another one of the cards. So like take care of yourself because you're the one who's doing the work and you have to Take care of yourself in order to be able to do the work. Okay. And then the next one is things will always change. Nothing stays the same forever. Yeah, that's exactly like that. Things will always change. Nothing stays the same forever. It's the same as do not resist the impermanence of life. Every moment must pass on. So I'm seeing a lot of change right now. These are two different messages about change and taking care of yourself and your home, which is yourself, but also you can look at it as physically the home that you live in as well. Sort of like in order to be able to weather the change that's coming your way or that is currently happening, you need to take care of yourself and your surroundings. So you're the only one who can save yourself. Now, in this column, we have don't let the illusion of fear dictate your choices or your future. Yep. <laughs> don't let the illusion of fear dictate your choices or your future. So this sounds a lot like making choices based on like what's in your heart instead of based on fear which is a really hard and scary thing to do. I 100% understand. But sometimes the right choice is not always the easiest and the right choice tends to be the scariest. <laughs> so don't let the illusion of fear dictate your choices. Don't make your choices based on fear, okay? And then the second part of this, or your future, is that that really reminds me of 
fear of like success or fear of failure is dictating the effort that you're putting in now, which will affect your future. So you can't let your fear of failure or fear of success or like imposter syndrome keep you from doing the things that you need to do. Don't like be frozen in indecision and do nothing just because you're so scared of failing or not being perfect and getting it wrong or whatever. Don't let your fear dictate your future. Okay. And then this one says, acknowledge your feelings and your pain. The only way out is through. Yep. <laughs> These are really hitting on the fear. Okay. Acknowledge your feelings and your pain. The only way out is through. So if you're really struggling right now, escapism is a crutch that is not going to help your future, okay? You have to face how you're feeling. You have to sit with the discomfort in order to process and go through it because if you try to compartmentalize and just hold things in and, and ignore them or deny that, that that's how you're feeling about something that was like hurtful in some way, it's not going to go away it will always be hanging over you. It will always be in your body. And so the only way out is through. And that means that you need to take the time to face the discomfort and hold space for it because you can never get rid of it otherwise. Okay, you have to acknowledge it. Otherwise, it will be baggage that you carry with you for the rest of your life, right? And we don't want to have a ton of baggage because that makes life less enjoyable and it's already it's already hard life is already hard okay if you can do this thing to make it less hard then you should do it all right <laughs> and then our last one is yeah mother <laughs> exactly this one says even pain gives us lessons and every lesson changes us Oh, God. <laughs> it just feels like really this is like a personal attack here on all of us. It's very confronting right now, okay? So this side was all about change. And in order to weather change, you got to take care of yourself, right? And it almost feels like it's not just talking about change in the world around you like big changes like a new home or a marriage or a new kid or a new job, like that kind of overreaching change. It almost is also sounding, based on this column, like facing your feelings and your pain and not letting fear hold you back and letting your pain give you a lesson to learn from and carry with you through the rest of life. It, it sounds like doing this work on yourself, this internal work, is going to bring about change in your life. Like facing your feelings and your pain is going to almost like a rebirth, like changing who you are, like for the better facing your feelings and feeling them and feeling your pain and making space for that it's hard but it's always a good thing we don't want to hold our feelings in all the time we need to address the hurt okay because then otherwise if we don't address the hurt you turn to other things to numb the hurt right and we don't want to do that so going about this internal work is going to cause change in your life and in order to weather these changes, you need to take care of yourself, okay? And your home, whatever your home consists of. Thank you for being here with me. See you next time.